Hey guys, it's Morit here and if you think that you need to shell out a lot of money to build a Mac, then this video is gonna blow your mind. Because you can build a Mac for yourself for under 20,000 rupees. That is what I have done, that is what this whole PC build is about and the performance of this PC is just amazing. In fact, this very video is being edited on Final Cut Pro on Mac OS X. So yeah, you can figure out how good the performance is of this PC build and that is what I'm going to tell you about in this video. So without wasting any more time, let's get started and if you're visiting my channel for the first time, then do consider hitting the subscribe button as well as the bell icon so that you don't miss out on more dope videos like this. And I'm also making this video in Hindi so that would be linked in the description box on my Hindi channel. Now let's get started. So first for the people who are completely confused and thinking how the hell did I get macOS working on a PC. Well it's not that difficult actually. Just google the term Hackintosh and you'll find out that there is a whole community built around installing Mac on non-Apple PCs. So that is what I have done. I've done it for a couple of years actually. I have made a lot of PC builds with macOS on it. So yeah it's actually quite easy and if you have the right parts and the components then the installation process also is actually fairly easy. I'm not going to cover the installation process in this video because it's very different for different configurations so there is no one single install process for all the PC builds so that is why I'm not covering the installation process here but if you guys want me to cover it then do let me know in the comments then I will cover the installation process for this build in a separate video it can be a long video which is why I decided not to include it here so basically what you need to do is figure out the most compatible parts for the Hackintosh and it's actually quite easy use an Intel CPU AMD CPUs also work but then don't go for them because you need to do a lot of troubleshooting to get AMD Ryzen CPU is working so stick with an Intel CPU and then when it comes to the motherboard I would go with the gigabyte board I have actually made three Hackintosh builds actually more than three I think four or five Hackintosh builds with gigabyte motherboard so I've had a very good experience with them so go with gigabyte you can also go with Asus I think but I've had the most uh, compatible experience with gigabyte and when it comes to the graphic card I think you should go with AMD GPUs the Nvidia GPUs work as well but when it comes to AMD the new GPUs like the 470, 460, 560, 570, 580 all of them work out of the box with Mac OS. So stick with AMD GPU, Intel processor and a gigabyte motherboard and I think the installation process should be very easy for you. But then another question that a lot of you guys would ask is why build a Mac? I think there are three reasons for it. First of all, it's for people who want to use macOS and they don't want to shell out a lot of money. Honestly, macOS is a superior operating system than Windows. The user experience is amazing and you just have to use it to realize how good macOS is as compared to Windows. So yeah, for someone who wants to use a macOS and doesn't want to shell out a lot of money, this is a great option. The second reason is that if you're planning to make iOS apps, you know that you need to have a Mac to build iOS apps. And that is where this build comes in very helpful because if you're someone who's just started learning to code in iOS, you don't want to shell out a lot of money and buy yourself a Mac. So you can build this for 15, 20,000 rupees and start learning. And the third reason you would want to build a Hackintosh is for creators like me. Now, if you know that Apple has their own editing software, Final Cut Pro, and it's just amazing. It's much better than Adobe Premiere Pro. Now that's debatable, but in my experience, I found Final Cut Pro much better than Premiere Pro. So yeah, for creators like me, it's a very easy way to get into Mac without shelling out a lot of money. So those are the three reasons why you would want to consider spending a Hackintosh. Now let's come to the PC build that I have made the specifications as well as the price. So this PC is rocking the 4th gen Intel i5-4590 CPU. So it's a quad core chip and along with that I have 8 gigs of RAM and the AMD RX 570 GPU. So instead of buying all of the parts new, I decided to buy used or refurbished PC parts. So actually before making this build, I was browsing on OLX for used PC components and I found these people who actually make you the whole PC with refurbished or used PC parts. So I chose the Intel i5 4th generation CPU because in terms of price and performance, it was giving me the best value. So I chose the Intel i5 4th gen CPU, I went with 8 GB of RAM and I went with 500 GB of regular hard drive. And along with the cabinet as well as the motherboard and the power supply, this PC costed me 13,500 rupees. Pretty good value for money, right? They were also offering me a one year warranty for 2,500 rupees extra, but since I was on a strict budget, I decided not to take the warranty. So basically just check OLX as well as your local PC market for used or refurbished PC parts. Many a times what happens is that they have a lot of dead stock remaining of older generation CPUs. So they are not actually used, so they just sell it off for a cheaper price. 
So yeah, just go to your local market or visit OLX and you should be fine. So I had the PC build with me for 13,500 rupees and what was remaining was the GPU. So I went with the AMD RX 570 GPU. Once again, I found this on OLX. It was a one year old GPU, but it still has two years of warranty remaining. So yeah, I got a great deal. I got it for 7,000 rupees, which is basically less than half the price of what the new one sells for. So I got a great deal. So just check out OLX and I actually went a bit overkill with the graphic card. You can actually go with an RX 560. I was getting one for 5,000 rupees. You can also go with any older Nvidia or AMD card. So yeah, you can get a GPU for 5,000 rupees or less and your total PC would be around 16 to 17,000 rupees. But because I want to use this PC specially for video editing, I went with the RX 570. And because of that, I also had to buy a new power supply because the RX 570 requires dedicated power supply. So I just went and got a Corsair power supply for 2,500 rupees. So overall, my PC costed me 23,000 rupees. But like I said, you can make this for much less than 20,000 rupees if you go with a lower grade GPU. So all of that is up to you. You can play with the configuration as much as you want and depending how much your budget is. So now the question is, how is it like to use this Hackintosh? In one word, it's amazing. I've got the latest version of macOS, which is Mohave and everything is very smooth and stable. I've got everything working, be it audio, internet, iMessage, FaceTime, the Mac App Store, USB 3.0, everything is working flawlessly and it's functioning just like any other Mac. And it is actually very powerful too. It's actually one of the most bang for the buck PC build that I have made. And the performance of this PC is just amazing. Like I said earlier, this video is also being edited on this Hackintosh. And as you can guess, the performance is great. I did run a couple of benchmarks. So here are all the results. In Geekbench, the Hackintosh just scored below the 2017 iMac with an i5 CPU in single core and multi core performance. That's majorly because of the old Haswell i5 chip inside this computer, but then still, you need to realize that the i5 iMac that I compared it with sells for 1.4 lakh rupees in India. And where it totally kills the competition is in terms of GPU. The Geekbench OpenCL score is super high, and the BruceX benchmark for Final Cut Pro was just finished under 21 seconds. For reference, the fully loaded iMac with i7 7700K and the Radon 580 does it in 17 to 18 seconds and the new MacBook Pro takes a lot more time as compared to this. And that iMac as well as that MacBook Pro is costing lakhs and lakhs of rupees. The fact that this 20,000 rupee PC is even close to it is mind boggling. So yeah, this is the best 20,000 rupees that I have ever spent and this PC is actually going into my office as my main editing machine. Yes, I'm shifting to Mac from Windows and from Premiere Pro to Final Cut Pro. With that said, I would like to make you guys aware with a couple of downsides that you can have with this PC. First of all, making a Hackintosh is not very easy. You do have to troubleshoot a bit. Sometimes some things may not work. So you do have to go through a couple of guides on the internet. You do have to do your research. So yeah, it does take a bit of time and tinkering. So if you're not made for that, I don't think the Hackintosh is for you. The second concern is with used PC parts. So like I said, you can spend a little bit of extra money to get one year warranty. And if your budget permits, you can actually go with new PC parts as well. So if you're going with used PC parts, then you have to be a little bit careful. But if you're buying new parts, then I don't see an issue with that. And the third thing and that problem is specifically with my PC is that I'm using a standard hard drive. So that's very slow if you're going to compare it to an SSD. So if your budget permits, go get like a 250 GB SSD so that your PC is actually a lot faster than on a normal hard drive. So those were a couple of concerns that I had with this PC build and I thought you guys should know before you start building your own Hackintosh. But still, I had a blast making this PC build. I really enjoy the performance considering the price that I've paid. And since this is actually a custom PC build, you can run Windows on it. And I'm going to be making a separate video covering the gaming performance of it. And trust me, the gaming performance of this PC is very good for 20,000 rupees. You can play most of the games at 1080p at 60 FPS. So if you want to watch that video, definitely let me know in the comments and make sure that you are subscribed and press the bell icon so that you're notified when the gaming PC build video comes out. I'm also planning a PUBG streaming build. So if you guys would want to watch that, then definitely let me know in the comments. And if you guys enjoyed watching this Hackintosh build, then please hit the like button. A lot more exciting videos are coming very soon i'm starting to get into pc builds again so if you guys have any specific requests let me know in the comments or you know you can ask me on twitter or instagram as well that's all with this hackintosh build and if you guys were planning to build a mac for yourself well now you can do this for only 15 to 20 thousand rupees once again i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video thanks a lot for watching and i'll be back in notifications very very soon peace